And so first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna customize the crate to fit the actual welder. So I know it's gonna be a little bit taller, but we're gonna customize the bottom of another unit to counter, to counter that. Let's find out where exactly what we're gonna cut. So we're gonna do this. So I'm guessing for good enough for, to, to get access to the dials, I'm gonna cut right here and right here. So we're gonna cut that all the way down. And uh, I don't think we have to cut this, but we will if I will if we have to. So let's just get started with that. Alrighty. <laughs> Let's see what I got to do. Let's put these through. All right, so good. Let's cut the let's cut the back as to that as well. Perfect tool to cut thick plastic, actually. All right, so let's see what that does now. All right, so as you can see, I did get it nice and snug in there. You get access to the dials. On the back, it is vented with access to the power, the power switch, which is right there. So that's a perfect sit. Like I said, it is above, so we're gonna adjust uh, to my, to the packet unit right there, we're gonna adjust the bottom of that to accept, uh, to accept the Titan right here. All right, so we are gonna install, uh, I think this is a two inch, a two inch uh, hole cover. Yeah, just, it's just so you, uh, the power cable could go through this instead of just being like this. And so yeah, so we're gonna install that. I think we're going to have it on to this, off to the side or even in the back. We'll see, but I got the proper sized hole right here. I did do a, a test to see if it was before I ruined this. Even with the hole guide. The UM drill. There we go. Make the top part flat a little bit. And probably the bottom, oh, that's actually good. I like that. It's actually in there snug. All right, so as you guys can see, we got the this unit done. We got the power cable right there. That so we do have a nice vent uh, open area for the back along with the power cable. And the front, you have access, you have access to the dials, that are the access to the vent and the, the hoses. And so yeah, so next we're gonna work on this. We're gonna work on this unit and cut the, the bottom out right here so you, this fits in there and you still have access to the dials and you could, uh, it'll still securely lock into place. So let's take care of this one next. 
I have another trait I'm going to work on that I'm going to use. So I know where to cut on this. So let's lock this into place. As you see, the crates do lock on with the others. Let's grab a Sharpie. I want to get rid of this section from right here up to right there. over here and down and everything in between there so I want to take this section out There we go. Now, what we're gonna have to do, because I wanna save a little bit, yeah, so we're gonna cut this down and out to see what we can do. Let's see what we got. Let's put this on top of the other unit and see if it's good enough. Okay, got this. Put that like that for now. I don't think it's good enough just yet. We have to cut that all the way back. All right, I want, I want this to lock into place. One more thing I do want to do is so we. Stuff these in there. I want to do that. Bingo. Bingo. Now There we go. That's that. Alrighty, so this unit is pretty much done. Let's actually uh, let's actually twist tie those, uh, zip tie those. All right, so the bottom crate's going to be empty because of the height and wheels. That's why it's a good it's good good for this. So that's that. So that looks good so far. Let's take a look at this. That's that. And then on the top, all right, so just put and so put this down when it's being used. As you can see, it's not sticking. It's not sticking above it too much. It's not sticking above it too much at all. So yeah, so it's still have plenty of room in here. It's gonna go right there. The welding helmet. 
Yes, it does. It does fit in there. All right, something is on this side. Oh, that's what, all right. That's what's preventing it from closing. There we go, it was a glove. It was a glove, that's perfect seam. Like that. Then the last thing we gotta take care of is these two. All right, so let's take care of this top. Now when it comes to this top, uh, you can make your own. Comes with screws, which is good. That's what I do love about this. And you do have space in there for screws in case you drill something through, which I'm hoping it does. And so, yeah, so like, but you could use this as a template and uh, trace your own. And then there you go. So that's just what they give you. You can make your own uh, out of whatever material you want. Let's see if these specs that I got will do the trick. I'm hoping that they can. Alrighty, so let's put this on. I think these specs will do the trick. Yeah, that comes out too. Perfect. So th those are those are good to go. Very good. All right, so here we have is a portable welding unit that you could actually practice on. And so like this, I do not recommend you do hardcore stuff with this. You do have a portable table that is at all you need to do is plug into the power cord to be able to practice welding. Now this is for a good friend of mine. Uh, this is for Mr. Bates. And so yeah, uh, he asked me to do something like this and so I did. But I, I wanna do some movement tests to see if any of this stuff shifts or if it's a, or if it's a pain to actually move, so. Let's do that really quick. Like I said, all you gotta do is lift that up, then you can have access to your stuff. So yeah. Not too shabby. Let's see if I put it like that. Yep, just what I thought, it did not move forward. Yep. I didn't thoroughly lock that in there. So yeah, it's good. It works. It works very well. Perfect. And uh, all right, so. Since that is done, I'll, I'll go through this with you guys, see what feature, what this actually does. All right, so the, for the bottom unit, the bottom unit is empty. It is just for the wheels and the height. The middle unit actually has the, the welder in there. It has ventilated in the front. You have access to the uh, power and speed. Now here, I, we cut the hole, so you just could uh, whip these out when you're ready. And then you have access to your, to your cords. Of course, you'll need two hands to put that back in, so I'll put that back in in a second. All right, so in the back, you have access to your power, your power button right there. You get easy access to it. Actually move that down, very good. Easy access to it on and off. And so then, Bring the handlebars down. You have your vise on top of the workbench with a little bit of workspace. You have your gloves in there, extra wire, helmet, wire brush, uh, some uh, different nozzles. And so, yeah. There we go. Let's put the wire back. 
And the last thing I'll show you guys is the power. Gonna let that dangle for a little bit. And make sure you do not kink this. Just gradually put it in. Just like that, along with that, then. And there you go. And the last thing, last thing is the power cord. You just uh, plug in your extension right here. Don't have to worry about any other wires. Like I said, uh, my friend Mr. Bates asked me to build this for him and so I did. And now he could easily practice welding just by wheeling this out, plugging that in, whipping out his two, uh, the, ne uh, the negative cable, his nozzle, and switch the power on, then he is good to go. Then he has all, all everything he needs. Then he has everything he needs in there. So that's pretty much it, you guys. I just wanted to build this really quick uh, and show you guys what I did. You could customize your packouts even more. Now, one thing I will say, are the two packout units sort of dead uh, when it comes to using them for anything else but this? Yes. But this now serves a purpose. So that's pretty much it, you guys. I hope you found this video helpful and entertaining. Please like this video. Please hit the bell button to be notified of future videos. And please subscribe to the channel. This is Dave Nicholas. Thank you for tuning in. I'll see you guys next time.